And we're back. Now, I got to say this one thing. Love is not always black and white. There's always the gray area. And I'm talking and sitting with Lynn Ford, the writer of this phenomenal webisode that you can check. We're now in season three now? We're in season three. Woohoo! Now, outside of that, she's also an author of The Lies of Blue, and she's also a co-producer of a documentary of the Poindexters that you'll be finding out more on another UBC TV show called The Listening Room. And on top of all of that, as if that's not enough, she's also the uh, AWIC in Florida director director of the African-American Women in Cinema Florida chapter. Yes. Lynn, welcome to UBC Jams. Thank you so much for coming out. Talk about everything that you're doing. I mean, she's, she's got 20 jobs. We got 20 jobs, man. <laughs> so <laughs> The Gray Area is a web series that uh, actually stars Amelia's Moore. And um, it's about love and lies and passion and deceit and betrayal and it's all that good stuff. But we've taken it to another level in season three. I felt the need to really speak about what's going on in the world today, especially in the black community, in our community, what's going on with our men and our women. I don't think we'll be able to fix anything that's going on until we're able to communicate with each other. So the gray area started with love is not always black or white. There's always a gray area. But now I'm breaking it down to simple communication that we need to have between man and woman for us to take our culture to a higher level. Now, what about the film festival that you're doing, as well as the fashion show in Florida in July? So, mark your calendars. Mark your calendars, July 30th, 2015. So, uh, it's not necessarily a festival as much as it is our launch event. So, last year I became the director of the African American Women in Cinema Florida chapter. Um, I have to thank Tara Renee for that honor. And we are now launching the organization down in Florida. So, we're going to have a panel discussion uh, hosted by uh, amazing moderator Amelia Moore and we are going to speak about the role of black women in front of and behind the camera and how it's changing and so how we've learned to adapt to, to make everything work for us and the things that we still need to do and we're also going to screen some films we've got some student films that we're going to be screening as well so we're going to be uplifting the students and the youth and we also have a product placement expo and that's just the first part the evening is where it really gets fly but well, we're going to leave more for you you got to go to the website to find out more where can they go to find out more information so go to www.aawic.org and you can find out more about our event that's going to take place you can also uh, catch me on facebook Lynn Ford and look up the gray area and you will see episodes of season one and you can get addicted like everyone else is. Now my last question because you know tonight is about live music and you had an opportunity to do a documentary on some phenomenal songwriters talk about the Poindexters and just give them a little glimpse of what the documentary talks about. So just on a smidgen of what it's about, the Poindexters, a lot of people don't know the name the Poindexters when you say it, but if I told you a thin line between love and hate, everybody knows that song. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal writing team, iconic. They have a catalog of almost 500 songs. It's incredible. And so the documentary, uh, I got to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with them, and it chronicles their life from the beginning, leaving the... Um, projects in Chicago and Newport News, Virginia, coming to New York, working with icons Jimi Hendrix, the late, great Maya Angelou, and then moving forward to actually making It's a Thin Line Between Love and Hate, having the movie company approach them when they were at their lowest, or one of their lowest, and have them take their song and make a full movie, Martin Lawrence, Lynn Whitfield, Thin Line Between Love and Hate. So it's a testimony to the strength of this family, their writing ability and just their spirit to keep going on in the music industry. Well, there you have it. There's so much more. This is what UBC TV is all about. And this is what UBC Jams is bringing it to you. Live music, live stories, lifestyle. We've got more, so don't go anywhere. Keep it right here. We'll be right back.